Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, this evening we're going to start switching uh, some of the parts around. I've got uh, both of the cars pulled up here. As you can see, um, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, we're going to start uh, by taking the hood off the parts car and switching it over to uh, the uh, Copart project car here. And then we're going to go after the uh, driver's fender. Because as you can see on the, this one, this is actually rusted out, rusted through. I've never actually seen a fender rust, rust through like that. Um, once we get the fender off, our fender switched over, we'll go after the uh, the bumper cover and the grills. Uh, that should actually just come off all as one unit. So uh, hang on, I'm going to get you set up on the tripod uh, and uh, we'll get uh, these things swapped over. Hang on. Okay, first thing we're going to do uh, is take the hood off of uh, Black Beauty here. Yeah, pop the hood. Um, I'll show you just a few things here. First thing you want to do is um, there's two clips that hold the gas strut on. We're going to take those clips off and um, That'll give us the ability to, to pop the gas strut off. Then there's four 13 millimeter bolts, um, two on each side. We'll bust those loose and then we'll just lift the hood off. Um, you want the, you do want the gas strut disconnected um, when you do this because any kind of side load on that gas strut is, it, it, it'll blow the gas out of it. I mean, it'll blow the strut. Um, and, um, that's bad because then it doesn't work anymore. So we're going to get this uh, hood off of here and um, we'll take it from there. Then we'll go over to that car, pull the hood off of there, and move it over here. I'll put you guys back on the tripod. Make sure you guys can see it. Okay, I tried doing this step by step, but that just wasn't working. For some reason, things just go wrong, and then I swear, and then that's not YouTube friendly. So uh, we're just going to do little uh, little updates right along. Like you can see now, I've got the uh, hood off of Black Beauty, and the parts car is next, and we're just going to swap it right over. Um, the biggest thing I can tell you about taking the, and swapping the hoods is don't lose the little clip off the gas strut and don't put any kind of side load on the gas strut otherwise you're going to blow the gas right out of it and then the strut is useless also if you lose the clip it flies off in some unknown direction and like somewhere out there somewhere is one from uh, the silver car that i'll never ever find again so okay we're going to get the the hood switched over and then uh, we're going to work on the front bumper cover so hang on like i said this was going to be step by step but nah so uh, I'll, I'll be back to you when I get the hood off and uh, switched over. Okay, we got the uh, hood switched over and the gaps look pretty good. Um, not perfect, but uh, you gotta remember I'm gonna re be replacing this fender so I can adjust the fender a little bit. This side looks okay, uh, not a huge gap. It is a little bit wider down here than it is um, up there. We'll see if we can adjust it just a little bit. Uh, might need to adjust this fender as well. You can see there's a little bit of paint flake in there. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the bumper cover off of this car. So that should be the next bit of progress. Then we'll pull the bumper cover off of that and move it over here. And that's how it's going to go. And then when the bumper cover is off, we can do the fender like real easy because it's like a dozen bolts and, and we're done. Um, but okay. And my phone's dying. So... Um, Hang in there and uh, I'll bring you along here in just a minute. Okay, we're stopping for a little update here. I've got the um, bumper cover off and the lower valance. This is the valance off of Black Beauty here and you can see that it is pretty well in pieces. Um, a lot of damage to it. Uh, the bumper cover was the same way. Some of this was from Copart. Uh, I, I mean, like this was definitely from Copart, this right here. Um, some of this was not from Copart. That right there was from me pulling it off the trailer. But there was a split right there that I did not see. So here's what the plan is. I'm going to take 
the lower valance and the bumper cover and everything off of that car and move it to this car okay this is crash's lower valance over here which i thought was like totally trashed and broken and bent but realistically all that's broken is this little piece right there and a little uh plastic uh epoxy or some plastic welding and i think that will be uh, right back in shape um that leaves me a bumper cover short because i don't think that can be fixed or if it can be fixed it can't be fixed that easily and since that doesn't have fog lights and crash does have fog lights i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to order a bumper cover for crash and we're just going to trash that of course i'll pull the grill out of it but um I think that's going to be the way it goes, and um, I started thinking, oh, well, I'll put the hood back on this one, and I put stuff back on the parts car, and it's like, why? <laughs> I'm stripping this thing. Why am I putting anything? So the hood over there will go in the barn. Everything else that I, I don't use will go in the storage. Um, this thing has really nice headlights. Um, very clean. Uh, the other one is just just the same so I'll, I'll probably put those on crash even though I have one good headlight with crash you know I just keep it as a spare but uh, the, um, the impact or the energy absorber up here is in good shape uh, none of that is broken it is a little cracked at the top here but you know what that's not worth changing you look at all these cars and, and most of them are cracked at the top we do have a little rust um, to be expected but i don't see any structural damage in here at all um it doesn't look like this thing's ever been hit or painted up here so that's a good thing uh, one thing i did notice though when i was doing this is part of my inner fender liner is missing um so i'll have to make the decision whether i use uh the one off of the parts car on this one or or off a of crash or use it on crash um i have some rears Oh, wait a minute. I know I have the left front. I have the left front for crash. I got it out of the junkyard. Um, I don't have the right front for crash because the right front was broken, so I may... Okay. Yeah, we're, we're good here. We're good. Anyhow, sorry to ba rab uh, babble. Um, again, sorry I'm not doing this step by step, but... There's just too many uh, too many variables, but I just want to get a stop and kind of give you a little update here. We're uh, we're switching parts over. Like I said, the hood looks really good on this. The factory paint job, even with its little uh, foibles on it, um, is still better than my rattle can paint job of a different color. Um, so I was going to have to like paint this hood anyhow. So now I don't have to paint it. That saves an incredible amount of time and effort. And then I still have this hood over here, which, you know, it's a good hood. And we'll keep it. And it needed to be sanded and painted anyhow, so whatever color it ever needs to be, it's, it's going to be fine. It has just a coat of black paint on it, uh, just keeping it safe from the rust. All right, uh, I got to get a moving here. As you can see, the sun is setting. Um, I'm out here working in a gravel driveway when I have a perfectly good garage here, which makes absolutely no sense. But whatever i wanted to put the cars next to each other for you guys um so you can see you know one next to the other and the parts going over so anyhow um hang in there uh, i'll see you in just a little bit and uh, we might be wrapping this up for the evening here real shortly i want to get a few more things off and, and we'll go from there hang on all right folks getting kind of dark uh here's the progress that we made um i've got the lower valance from the parts car on uh, Black Beauty here. Uh, it's got some cracks in it, but it's generally intact. Um, trying to find one of these that's, that's not cracked is like, it's like hen's teeth, man. Um, so I'm gonna go with it. Um, I mean, I, I guess I could have put the one for Crash. It's that one right there. I guess I could put it on it, but it, it's cracked as well. I mean, they're all cracked. Um, but this one kind of looks, the, out of all of them, it kind of looks the best. So, um, and most of that is covered up by the bumper cover anyhow. You can see the crack right there. Um, that's a tire hat. 
So yeah, it, it's kind of cracked right there. Um, it's a little bent here. What I thought was a split in the uh, in the bumper cover on the parts car was actually not a split. It was just that lower valance sticking out the bottom side. And you can see, this is the back side of that. We got a little crack right there. And that's the only damage to this. Um, but it looks like it has uh, been replaced once because it has Salzburn Chevy on the back of it. So this definitely didn't come from the factory. So um, this car has been, been fixed at least once, which isn't uncommon. These bumper covers are, are uh, damaged pretty easily. So we're going to call it a night. I think we got some good parts uh, installed, or, you know, we got some good progress here. Uh, tomorrow, we'll go ahead and pull the fenders and swap the fenders and go ahead and button up the uh, the bumper cover and the grills and all that. We got we to gotta put folks. that on. I it's been a couple days. We're going to continue with the parts swapping today, but first, um, as you can see, the battery's dead. Um, this isn't the first time this thing has died on me, and it, it really shows no pattern to it. So, uh, one of the things we will swap is the, um, take the battery out of this one and put the, uh, parts car battery in it. And, uh, the parts car battery seems to be a Duralast gold, so it should be in better shape. Anyhow, uh, first thing I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to take this fender off the, uh, driver's side here on the project car. I've already taken the clip off the lower shock. Uh, mount and what we'll do is we'll get something to support the hood and um, that way we can take the the shock off and pull the fender off and um, be good to go there probably also pull the fender liner while we're at it I don't know whether I'll keep the car in the garage this morning or uh, back it out we're in the got some room to work but can't do anything until we're charging it started out at 10%, now we're up to 51%, so um, I've got it on a fast charge, and we're just going to keep going with the with the part swapping today. I, I, I'm hoping to get this whole front end bundled up, or buttoned up, and um, we're going to keep at it. So, I'll give you an update in just a little bit. Alright folks, I wanted to stop and give you an update. We've got the uh, fender off the parts car, and I'm just starting to uh, put it on the project car here um we had some trouble um <clears throat> getting the old fender off of this one there was some rust down here i ended up having to drill uh, one of the screws out um the funny part was is on the parts car the opposite screw there's two screws down there and the opposite screw was actually the one rusted off and broken off and so i think between the two cars now we have two complete screws you can see that this area collects a lot of moisture, a lot of uh, dirt and debris. Um, that all came out of this area here. And plus they have a felt uh, insulator in there that also holds the moisture. And that's probably why the fender rotted out. But anyhow, you can see the fender and the fender liner are off this. It's going to go on uh, the other car here in just a minute. And then we'll, uh, we'll commence to pull in some more parts and putting the front end back together. Um, pull the battery and, and whatever and we'll start pulling those front end parts and putting them on the uh, crash over there but I just wanted to give you a break or a, an update while I'm taking a break here there's the fender liner that we're going to replace um, I said this uh, this fender's in really good shape we'll have to kind of work on making it line up the um, yeah, the pinstriping, it, it matches color-wise, um, but we're going to have to kind of adjust it and match it um, alignment-wise. We'll make sure the door gaps are, are okay. Um, the door gaps were not okay on the last one, and we, uh, I don't know, we're just going to keep plugging away. Anyhow, um... I'll, uh, I'll update you again when we get a little bit further along, and um, we'll continue to get these parts swapped over. Okay, we got the 
front end back together. Headlights installed, fender on. That's looking pretty good. Gaps are nice. Yeah, generally speaking, you know, this, this front end from the parts car is definitely was in better shape than what was on there. Um, two defects here. There's a scratch right here. And a couple little, like, little pinhole rust spots and some, some rock chips. And there's a little peeling paint right here. Um, I think we're just going to, may touch that up and, and then buff it. Uh, the peeling paint isn't going to go away with the buff job. But um, I'm not going to respray the whole bumper just for that. Um, still haven't decided on the pinstriping. Um, you can definitely tell what, one black is fresher than the other. I don't know if it comes out on camera. Um, it's also hard to tell with the dust. But the pinstripes definitely don't line up. Um, we're going to need to touch up the door there a little bit from where it was hitting the fender uh, before. And I think that's about it for the front end. Like I said, we'll, we'll get the car, once I get done with the painting in the rear, and the bodywork and the painting in the rear, we'll buff the whole car and uh, we'll get it looking nice. But essentially the front end of this is done and that was a big relief off my mind because painting that hood um it's a big canvas you know there's lots of rooms for mistake not that uh wouldn't have been a good learning experience but um i'd rather just get this car done and get it out of here um anyhow i suppose the next step for this uh Body-wise is to get this driver's door off, see if I can get it off, how much it takes to get it off, and uh, get that one switched over. We're going to replace the back door, too. Um, it's got some significant, not significant damage there. It's got some damage right here, and um, that one doesn't, so we'll swap them out. The only difference between the two are the... Um, the trim strip there and those are ridiculously expensive it's really it's kind of odd they're really ridiculously expensive for what they are but we'll um we'll source some of those where i got to go to the junkyard with some fishing line and and um, pull a couple off um so yeah and now i'm just rambling but um there's still plenty of parts left over here is just what what i want to take off if next. you uh like the video click the like button if you don't like the video click the dislike button and tell me why um i'm not getting a whole lot of views i'm not getting a whole lot of comments except for maybe one or two people my my regulars and that's great i love hearing from you guys um but like i said if you, if you got good comments bad comments other comments um if you can share the video share it uh, hopefully we'll get a few more viewers, a few more subscribers. I'm not looking to make like a, a internet YouTube sensation out of this, but um, it's always good to have more uh, more subscribers, more people looking at your stuff and, and making comments because I, I get some ideas from you guys. So, um, like I said, I'm not I'm not a professional at this at all. We're just kind of going along and learning, um, and it, and it's an adventure. So anyhow, thanks for watching. Click the subscribe um, if you want. Uh, click the notification button down there so you get notified of any new content, and we'll see you on the next one. Ah, good morning, everybody. It's another day. Uh, kind of worked late last night um, after I got done uh, swapping the parts over to uh, the black car. I started working on Crash here behind me and uh, kind of delving into her, see if I could uh, pull the driver's door off and put the, the donor car uh, driver's door on. Um, unfortunately, we got some bad news. Um, apparently, the B pillar on the silver car here is pushed in um, almost a quarter of an inch. And, of course, that means that the door will never align. Uh, there's, there's no amount of adjustment you can make to it. 
Um, you can see I've got it covered up here, but um, basically right in here, the, the door pillar or the A pillar is pushed in this way and this way, um, causing that, that misalignment. Now, I guess we could take it to a frame shop and have them pull and straighten, um, but then, you know, there's damage down there, which I was willing to live with that. Um, but uh, if I could have got, you know, the doors to align on it. The back door works fine. Uh, the back door is aligned, so it's just this A pillar here. Um, and like I said, it, it's about a quarter of an inch. So, but in, in terms of, of door gaps and alignment, a quarter of an inch might as well be a quarter mile. So anyhow, we made the decision, uh, we're gonna scrap the car. Um, it's gonna be a parts car now. I'll pull everything off of it that I can deem usable. And then uh, the carcass will go to the junkyard, just probably with the carcass of the uh, black parts car as well. Um, kind of a sad end to this, but uh, the car's got uh, 235,000 miles on it, and it's just, it's not worth putting any kind of money into. I've already kind of probably sunk too much money into it buying the, the parts I did at the junkyard, but you know what? I'll have those parts for other Impala builds. Um, you know, the car from the, the you know, driver's door back and, and the passenger side is, is really in good, you know, good shape. I'll have three uh, good aluminum uh, alloy rims. Uh, the tires were shitty anyhow. But uh, the doors on this side are, are in top-notch shape. Um, this back door on the pass on the driver's side has a nice gouge in it, but all the internals of the door are uh, are okay. Um, what we're going to do today, as I've got uh, crash this driver's door in here. And yes, I've got it leaning up against the black car, but I've also got it leaning up where I'm going to be uh, doing body work. So if it leaves a mark, uh, we're, we're still okay. I'm going to pull the uh, power door lock actuator out of this. I'm basically going to gut the door. I may have to uh, actually pull the door skin off to get to some of these things because of the way it's crushed. But I'll pull the door glass out. I'll pull the actuator out. I'll pull the... Uh, window regulator out because the window regulator is actually brand spanking new um so parts of this car will live on uh we've got plans the the passenger window regulator and iris is running slowly so it's going to get a donor um regulator from a crash over there and uh like i said crash will live on in parts and maybe uh part of another build you know we'll see but uh, she's not going to be back on the road so anyhow i uh, hope you've enjoyed this segment um we're going to continue on with the copart project car get it uh get the body work and the paint done on the rear and all the little things buttoned up and the alignment and we'll get the wheels and tires moved over and then she'll be done and um that's going to be it for this video i know it's been a, a over couple days and it's been kind of random i'm going to see if i can edit this into something reasonable but anyhow that's the plan for the day that's the plan for the cars and we'll see you on the next one have a good day